Great, Th directors, thank you. Um, okay, well, it's it's just a little bit hard to you know listen to the person who you know corralled a small group of people to delay this project by a few years, which tripled the cost, and now we face these increases. Uh, you know, uh, the general managers suggest the inflationary factors, uh, you know, correctly, and it, it's really a shame. But we're seeing that across the board, and frankly, it's just not going to get better. Um, and uh, I will, I did want to point out a couple of additional things to you. The um, since the, since last year, when that original uh, bid was put in, we did take the opportunity in this bid to to already value engineer a few things. Uh, the the original um, structure of fencing had more a greater number of posts for greater stability. So I spaced those out a little bit further. We reduced the, the dimensions of the rolling gate and, um, you know, tried to give a little bit more information on that. Obviously included these different wood types to give you some um, perspective on, on those costs. Um, and, you know, despite, <laughs> despite the fact of taking those cost cutting measures, um, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're still faced with this. And I just kind of wanted to harken back to, Years ago, when we embarked on this journey of having all of the public engagement, we did present an, uh, a bunch of studies with the staff needs and square footages. If you go back to the original um, uh, needs analysis and the square footage, I completely understand um, Eric's you know original proposal to you. I really appreciate your your discussion, but um, you know my concern I was going to add in there was was really the fact that the the square footage is necessary, and if and you know we would find that we would need it in the long run. This or would find it needed in the long run, and it is true that um, one important thing about breaking up projects is that you lose the efficiency of um, the common aspects. For example, you know just the to start up and close down costs for a contractor get to be more. So if you split it in half, you're not going to get half the cost. You're going to get actually more than the whole because you, know, you have to repeat a lot of steps. And it is true, as you pointed out, um, there would be a, you know, potentially a difference in quality, definitely a difference in aging of the, of the look. And really in the long run, you'd be faced with uh, you know, potentially even more costs. So I do think that it's a good approach. And, and, and frankly, from a contractual side, um, by uh, approving it as, you've, uh, as the motion states, it will allow the contract to proceed and the contractor to feel as if they're, you know, secure in, in what the upper end of what they envision. And um, I know it's a little bit hard to envision, but the on that east side, um, you know, we could cut down the, the retaining the amount of concrete uh, because we don't need the retainage on that side. Uh, it was a prudent way to try to protect the fencing. Uh, for those of you who have, you know, fences that contractors have just put uh, wood right into the ground, you know, does not last as long as if it's up, if it's embedded in concrete, that doesn't last as long as if it's on a short wall. So we have to have that on the west side. We can cut it um, on the east side. We could even look at the gate there. I think there's a number of things that, you know, I uh, could work with Eric and the contractor on, on cutting that down. But I do think it's prudent to kind of, you know, approve the upper, upper amount. And then finally, the last thing really is the county approval was for the completed project, including all the landscape and the pass and the entire picture. And my concern would be that, you know, if we continue to break it down into pieces that we're not delivering on, on that approved total scope. So really tough to decision. We never should have been in this first place in this situation in the first place, had we been able to just proceed as we wanted to, uh, you know, three years ago, but uh, it is what it is. And, and, and I think when it is done, um, uh, you know, you will see the public really enjoying um, the you know the finished building and, and and the landscaping it's also important to note as bill made a really good point about the final grading the existing grading uh there was a lot of dirt excavated and it was piled up against the temporary fence and that really needs to be completely um uh you know spread out and spread around and, and the project uh will not be done done until all of that is accommodated and that affects the you know the path so it'd be terrific um, despite the cost to have to be able to get all that stuff done. So anyway, thanks. Thanks for your time.